Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Grand Theft Logan, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now I'm sure some of you watching this are probably wondering, where have you been? And you know what? I don't really have that great of an answer for you guys. Uh, I got kind of burnt out of doing the same game or games over and over and over again. Um, it just felt like felt like more of an obligation to make a video instead of something that like I was really looking forward to every day and like I said like seven days to die which was my main series on this channel if you're new um, or you haven't really looked at many of my videos and that was like the main game that I played and it's just like it's like I was just playing that and, not, and it just gets old fast um, 2017 is here though I want to make more videos I don't know that I'm going to commit to daily videos every day but i want to make many a week um so right now my frames i don't know how this is going to look in the recording compared to i am now i have put down the graphics um you know trying to get that i put it down to medium i turned some things off like lens flare um i guess i could turn shadows down and that down so we'll get that going. Um, my frames did go up doing that, but it's still still not amazing. So anyway, so this is my park, uh, my my challenge park here on Planet Coaster. And this is my super compact yet very profit profitable park. Um, there are some issues, as you can see with this, like this congestion right here. Uh, you know, I have to try to figure out a solution for that and then it kind of gets congested up here sometimes too these people are such idiots like look at them they just they just sit at at the front there and they don't really go through i really wish that the uh the devs would also make it so you can make paths better because it's like you get these things where you get these little patches of grass here and i want to just fill them in so it, like this over here too um i'm zooming in because i don't know if my cursor is showing right now but anyway, so this is my super profitable park. So the first thing that I wanted to do was make a very compact park. And I have started uh, going out further. And I want to loop it all the way around the back of here to this point. That's a pretty big project, though. Um, I might even have to enact a monorail or something or like a like one of those steam trains, you know, that they have that can go around. Something like that. But... Um, look how much money I have, 415000 You can see my monthly profit right now, but that's not even... It's only midway through the month. If you look at the bottom right, it's only the 15th. Half, we're halfway through the month, we're only in year five. And we've got this much. Um, if we go to finances, we can see like 25000 here, twenty seven. Average month is about twenty two five. I have had... Um, did I have the forty k? No. I've had over a 30000 month. I think my highest is... Does it say on here? I swear it was like around 33 maybe? Um, something like that. So my ticket prices are as follows, just 11 and 18 right now. 100% of people say the park was amazing. They don't want to leave. We've had 16.5k lifetime visitors. Right now we have 5,200. That is also partially because we have uh, advertisements going. I did just have uh, cereal boxes for the TV commercials for families because I found out from guests that the families were spending so much more if you look at this $77 compared to 53 and 64 and also look at my guest happiness that's like what 95% maybe 92 3% something like that the energy is good too hunger and thirst man you're never going to get those things up into the green when you're getting bigger it's just impossible i have so many shops that i'm going to show you restrooms are decent they could be better i add them i don't know why it doesn't go up more Guest thoughts, the park is great, litter 13%, you know, the sick, I have a good amount of janitors. Um, a lot of, I have so many like loony balloons and those things are such big money makers in the hats. And it's like, I have so many locations that it's just like at this point, you know, I'm just going to have to deal with people being upset about that. But, you know, everyone's pretty happy. Everyone's doing pretty well. My staff, uh, my staff is pretty happy. I just logged on. Um, some people look like they aren't super happy. We'll get this guy trained up. Uh, we have this many janitors. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine janitors. It seems to be okay for now. 
we have five mechanics. You know, like these guys have low workloads. You know, um, you don't really need a ton of mechanics. I don't have any rosters for them. I do have that. I have three entertainers. Um, they seem to have pretty high workloads. Uh, so attractions and shops. Like I said, we have a lot of rides. We have a lot of shops. Um, if we look at some of these shots, like look at the Hats Fantastics up here. Look how much profit they're bringing in. And I actually goofed on that because I put in this Hats Fantastic earlier on. Did well. It's right next to a, just a Memento. And then they they wanted more hat places. Like it was like 20% of people were saying like, oh man, it's the line's too long or I'm going somewhere else or whatever. So I was like, okay, I need more hats. So then I put in this, right? It said that it was a Hats Fantastic. Uh, I didn't realize that all three of them would be Hats Fantastic. I thought that it was just going to be one. Uh, I got kind of tripped up with that. But they seem to do pretty okay. That one does 544, 914, 770. Like, you know, for having three right next to each other, that's pretty good. Now, this is the kitty section so far. I am expanding into that other area that I told you about that's also kids. Um, the carousel was actually a pretty big hit when I put it in. And I didn't make the queue long because of my other sandbox. Nobody nobody cared about the, the carousel. So I got that. I got the worldly rig. This is a very profitable coaster. All of the coasters and all of the rides that you're going to see aside from the river raft thing is all blueprint. It's pre-made. These things work well. Look at this. 4000 in profit and that's with a $17 ticket price. And it gets, it's the most popular ride that I have. It's constantly filling up. Like, even though the queue isn't super long, it just keeps going and going and going. Um, we have some some random shots, shops. Um, you know, I just started putting in some stuff to test them. I put in another carousel to see if it would kind of help with the demand that came from the other one. So far... It's, it's going a little negative. You know, I want to give it at least probably like five or six months to see how that does. Because I'm, I'm expanding more, so more people are going to come down here. Um, nobody cares about this ride. Um, maybe because it's at the end. I don't know. This is a pre-made coaster, Alien Abduction. You can find that in the workshop. It's not mine or anything. I don't know who makes it. Pretty good, though. Look at this. C great profit. Uh, people like it. Uh, it's got good prestige. So as you can tell, I have a wide variety of stuff. And now this, this is a problem, but this is a dead end. This is just, uh, is this balloons or hats? Looney balloons, and then you got a hot dog squad. Some of this stuff is just, the people on this game I've noticed can be, can be pretty stupid. Like, for instance, if I don't have anything, I don't think here I can show you because I've been trying to do really good path control. But if, okay, well, I can tell you this is how it was. So this wasn't as long. This queue wasn't as long. It kind of was like up here. And then we had a path that went up to it. And all these people would just walk down the path, get right to these green, uh, you know, spires here, and then just turn around. And they just, they clog it all up. So you have to be very careful with that. Um, like I said, I'm trying to expand this. I had to make like a ditch just to get through here because I kind of, I didn't realize until later on that I was kind of boxing myself in. Um, maybe I could have gone around here, but I'm kind of boxing myself in with these coasters. These are two different coasters, by the way, like a 2800 and 5100. They do pretty well. And this is my new area. I have a, uh, what is this? An AT8? Uh, no, it's not an ATST. Um, then we have, you know, we just have some random rides. We have some shops. Uh, I tried to use and utilize workshop, uh, decorations or, you know, the blueprints here. Um, this is a new coaster. It seems to be doing pretty well. Yeah, it, it does okay in profit. Like overall, the, the month is actually just about to end. So we're going to be able to see here if we speed it up, we can get to the end of the month and see how we did. Yeah, $34,250. So that's a pretty good month. Um, could I get that up more? Sure. I could put in more rides. I could raise ticket prices a little bit. People seem to be pretty okay with my ticket prices because now only 4% are things just say it's average. Um, but people don't seem to think that it's bad. Like like I said, most popular attraction in the high seas, that's that wooden coaster. Um, Boomboat, which is this one. Oh, Madden is just broken. Which one is that? Oh, yeah, we need to get this. Actually, 
we'll get a refurbishment on it. So this is the only ride that I built. Uh, it is a River Rapids. It's pretty simple. It doesn't, it's not like super high. Where is it? Right here. It's not super high in the excitement or the fear, but it does well, man. I mean, look at this. It does potential monthly profit 2300 last month did by 1800 it does well it brings in good money people love it people love the water rides in this game um, i only have one log flume right now look at the line for that so i am actually going to be uploading this to the steam workshop uh you can download this or enter it um at this point i saw that you can do that i saw that you could upload it and save it so uh, if that doesn't work out and it won't let me or I can't figure it out, then obviously it won't be in the description, but I'm going to try everything I can to do it. Uh, my Steam name is Grand Theft Logan, as you could probably see on here, or, or you can especially see it in my other videos. And I think that is going to wrap up this video. If you guys like Planet Coaster, I know that the frames aren't the best. This is a, such a visually demanding game, and especially when you have a busy park. 5200 is pretty busy. When you have a busy park like this, uh, it takes a lot. I could try to see if I could turn down the graphics some more and see if that helps. And maybe we could start doing that. I like this game. I'd like to start you know, a new challenge park that we could kind of shape together. And I'd probably do a lot more custom stuff in that one, just so that's not all pre-built ones. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Like I said, this is a super profitable uh, formula. This is a super compact, which I think is the best way to do Planet Coaster, because my sandbox uh, spaced out one that I started this game on, that that park was sucked. It's a good thing I had unlimited money, because I probably would have gone... I don't even know if you can go bankrupt in this game, but I would have been the first one. Even if they haven't even put that feature in the game, I would have found it. I would have gone bankrupt. It would have been very, very bad. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video and you want to see more Planet Coaster, hit that subscribe button to be notified when those videos come out. Smash that like button if you like that. It really helps me out, and I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.